Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is AJ. It is Lesbian Visibility Week and if you are looking at me, congratulations, you're celebrating because I am a lesbian and I am visible. And today I thought I would be taking some Are You Gay quizzes, like the ones I took when I was 13 and trying to figure shit out. A quick disclaimer for this video, these quizzes are all bullshit. A quiz about what shirts you like cannot tell you who you are attracted to, this is all in jest. Some of the quizzes I'm taking I'm almost certain are jokes written by gay people. It's very hard to tell but they're all based on stereotypes, do not take these quizzes seriously, this is all just for a bit of fun. And two, I will be staying away largely from quizzes that are just like, to what extent do you feel attracted to the same gender? Those aren't that fun, I know they're gonna tell me that I'm 100% gay, this is more the stupid ones about like, do you like plaid shirts and who's your favourite member of One Direction or fucking whatever. Like, these are the stupid ones that cannot tell your sexuality. I will also be staying away from any quizzes that are Christian in nature, if they are homophobic, that suggest if they tell you that you're gay that it's something to be cured. Like I said, all fun, no homophobia, let's get into it. So this video idea all started when I saw this advert on YouTube. Um, I just did not know what to make of it and I clicked the link because I thought it was funny and it took me to this website, DigFun, which appears to just be full of stupid quizzes but they have a lot of gay ones and from what I've seen they're all silly so I'm very excited for this. So I'm going to look for some good gay quizzes. Now I think that this one is the one that was advertised to me because it's got this rainbow flag with a gay test written on it in massive letters. So I think I'm going to start with that one. Scroll to start quiz. Here we go. Have I ever played The Sims as a kid? No. And I feel very left out. I have watched YouTubers play it and it looks fun. But no, I have never played The Sims as a kid. So never. Have I ever played viola in my middle school orchestra? I played the violin, which is not a viola, but I'm just gonna, I'm just, I think I'm being pedantic, I'm gonna say yes more than one time, I did used to play in the orchestra. Have I ever collected rocks as a kid? No. I collected, uh, like, custom erasers, the ones that you can take apart for a while, um, but that's the only thing I ever really collected. Was but okay, so was Buttercup my favourite in the Powerpuff Girls, but then the, the answers are yes, only once. Yes, more than one time, or never. I don't know the difference between someone being your favourite only once, and someone being your favourite more than one time. Also, I never watched the Powerpuff Girls, and I don't know which one Buttercup is, so no. Did you ever use the word frenemy in middle school? It wasn't like a part of my vocabulary, but I can't say I didn't. So I'm gonna say yes once? Like, I can't promise I never said the word, but I didn't say it much. Have I ever said present instead of here in school? No. Uh, we used to say good morning, and then we used to just say here when we were in secondary school. Have I ever typed things like XD and X3, like the little text emoticons? Yeah, I use XD to this day, and like the smiley face with the D and stuff, so yeah, more than one time. And have I ever gone to the book fair just to buy cool pens and erasers? Oh, that photo is just... just reminds me of being little. Um, I think I always, I think I always bought books. I was like a big bookworm as a child. Um, I'm not sure if I ever bought stationery. I'm not sure if I've even sold stationery. I think it was just those little like pop-up cardboard shelves of books. So I'm gonna say no. I think I always just use my book token for books. Okay, submit. See, the title says that if I did any of the things, I'm 100% gay. So I think, I think I know my answer. Yup. Great, great image, and I am 100% gay now. No offence, but you are gay because you did weird things as a kid. Technically true! I mean, I did do weird things as a kid, and I am gay. And I do not know if they're related, and I don't think that many of those things were weird. This was clearly a joke quiz, but okay, so we've got... I should make like a tally. So far, one of them has guessed correctly. Okay, this is a BuzzFeed one. I think this was made... I mean, this was made by a man called Matt Stupera. I am guessing that Matt Stopera is gay, and this is a joke, because I did take a quick look at this one and it is so stupid. So, I mean, I like that though. Power to the gays making stupid Am I Gay quizzes. You get one point for each one you check. Your total number of points determines your straight number, and that number determines whether you are gay or straight. It's science. See, now looking at this one again, I remember that it's a joke. I forgot just how obviously a joke this one was. Okay. This is quite long, this should be fun. Is my favourite Britney Spears song toxic? No. 
Uh, my favourite Britney song is probably Stronger or Work Bitch or... Yeah, probably Stronger or Work Bitch. Obviously Work Bitch, like, I don't support the capitalist idea that working equals money, however it is a fucking banger, so yeah. But Stronger is probably my favourite. Irrelevant, it's not toxic, it's definitely not toxic. Is my favourite Carly Rae Jepsen song Call Me Maybe? And then the follow up question is, Call Me Maybe the only Carly Rae Jepsen song I even know at all? Technically it's not, because she did that one with Our City. However, I can't remember how it goes or what it's called. I just know that she did it, and I know that Call Me Maybe is my favourite, and I don't like that Our City one much. So I guess it is Call Me Maybe. But it's not, I know of and have heard the other one, so it's not the only one I know, but it is my favourite. Do I lose my mind when they play Shut Up and Dance at Weddings? No, I hate that song. I hate that song. I was about seven when that song came out and it drove me wild in a bad way. It's such a straight song. I didn't even really know I was gay at seven and I just, ugh. The concept of that being played at a wedding is just the straightest thing I've ever heard. Is Perfect by Ed Sheeran the perfect first dance song at a wedding? No, hate that song, don't like Ed Sheeran. The only Ed Sheeran song that I remotely like is Shape of You. Not because of him, it's just really catchy, but I know it was written for Rihanna and I simply wish it was a Rihanna song. If it was a Rihanna song, I would love it. I'm not like a huge Rihanna fan or anything, but it is so catchy. I really wish Rihanna had done that song. Yeah, but no, uh, Perfect by Ed Sheeran is again, just toxically strange and I don't love weddings. I want to get married, but I don't love straight weddings. Do I like Ed Sheeran? No. Do I have no idea who Little Mix is? No, I know who they are. They're a girl group who were on X Factor, I believe. I can kind of picture their members, know about, like a few of their songs. I do know who they are. Do I love Giant Jenga? No. I have no opinions about Giant Jenga or Jenga as a whole, except it did used to scare me when I was little because it made a loud noise when it fell over. I'm autistic. Have I not posted a new Instagram picture in over a year? I have not been on Instagram for over a year, so yup. Do I have empty liquor bottles on top of my cabinets? No, I don't really drink. Do I wear underwear under board shorts? I have one pair of... I'm... Hang on, what are board shorts? Are they just like shorts? Like, I simply do not know what they are. Board shorts. Oh yeah, okay, they're just like surfer shorts. Um, I have one pair of them that I barely ever wear, but when I wear them, I definitely have underwear on. So yes, I do wear underwear under board shorts. Do I own anything with Grumpy Cat on it? No, because it is not 2011. No offense to Grumpy Cat, but like you're, you know, you're past it. Do I say love wins? No, I may have once in my life, like, I get that it's supposed to be like a gay marriage thing, but it's like the rainbow equals sign. It's just a bit like overdone now, maybe. Not the idea behind it, but just like the motifs. So no, I don't say it actively. Do I have inspirational quotes like live, laugh, love in my house? No. Do I call my friends the boys? No. Do I use the word buddy to refer to my friends? No. Uh-oh. Do I refer to individual friends as my man? Yeah, one specific friend, my best mate. I have definitely called him my man in life. Not loads, but a bit. So yeah. Do I refer to babies as little man or little bud? I refer to my cats, my male cat, as like little gentleman. Simply a small gentleman. But that doesn't count. That's just weird. So no, I don't. I'm not really around babies much. Never held a baby. No babies in my family. Can I open a bottle with a lighter? No. And I'm fascinated by how that works. Because the way I'm picturing a lighter, do you just like, I don't know how that works. No, I don't. And I don't open bottles much because I don't drink. Do I love St. Patrick's Day? No. Not really a thing in England. Obviously it's a massive thing in Ireland and I think it's a big thing in America because there are a lot of Irish Americans. Not really. There aren't like parades in England at all. Um, no, I'm not, I'm not like anti St. Patrick's Day. It's just not really been a part of my life. Have I ever participated in a Santa con. I don't know what that is. Is that like a convention for Santas? I want to google that now as well. This is just me finding out what basic concepts are. It is a pub crawl in which people dressed in Santa Claus costumes or as other Christmas characters parade in various cities around the world. I didn't even know that was a thing. No, I've not done one. Once again, I do not drink. And even if I did, no. Do I own an acoustic guitar? No, I own an electric guitar that I do not know how to play. And I own basses that I do know how to play. I do not own an acoustic. Therefore, I have not brought it out at a party. Do I love grilling? No. I'll eat food that comes off a barbecue. I don't want to barbecue it. And I don't like love barbecued food. It's fine, you know. So no, I don't love grilling. I have never referred to hot dogs as dogs because that sounds like I'm like grilling up some dogs. It sounds like I'm cooking chihuahuas. No, I haven't. Do I drink regular soda? No, on the rare occasion I drink soda, I drink diet soda. Do I own a vest? No. Have I gone to a Dave Matthews band concert? Don't know who that is. Can't be bothered to Google it. No, I haven't. My hand is not down my pants right now. Look, here are my hands. Do I think Grindr is a dating app? No. That's how I would describe it to my parents if for some reason they asked me what Grindr is, but no. 
Do I love karaoke? No, don't look at me. Have I ever sung Mr. Brightside at karaoke? No, it's a classic, maybe a little overdone, but a classic. But once again, no karaoke for me, thank you. Do I like walking slow? No, even with the crutches, I power walk. Do I like hot coffee more than iced coffee? No, I prefer iced coffee. Is it a sin to drink iced coffee in the winter? No, I drink it at all times. I don't drink glasses of milk. I mainly drink soya milk, apart from in tea, because it's disgusting in tea, but I don't drink glasses of it. It's just not what I reach for. When I hear the word poppers, do I think of the food? I don't even know what the food is, so no. When I hear the word robin, do I think of a bird? Now the way they've written it, obviously not, because they've capitalized it and put the Y in it like the musician, so no. If you just said robin to me, I'd probably think of the bird, but not in the context of this quiz, no. Do I still like Justin Timberlake? I never liked Justin Timberlake. He was always a straight person thing, like, just not my cup of tea, really. Did I just find out that Lady Gaga could sing in the past two years? No, because when you listen to her old stuff, she obviously can, but I wasn't into Lady Gaga two years ago. Like, she's something I've come onto in the last year or so. But I think they mean in terms of, like, because she's been doing more jazzy stuff recently, whether I thought she couldn't sing in her previous material, and that's not true. She obviously can, so I'm gonna say no. Do I think Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper are dating? I've never seen any evidence that is the case, other than they are a man and a woman who play romantic, like, characters in a film. So I'm gonna say no. Do I know how to play lacrosse? I played it once at school, and I know it's the nets and the throwing. But no, I don't think that counts. Do I own a gingham print shirt? I'm sure I do, but I have to Google what gingham is. I kind of know that it's basically this, but like I do just have to check. Oh, is it the little checks? Oh, it's like school dress fabric. No, I don't then. I could, but I don't. I, wear a, I have a lot of flannel and a lot of tartan, but I don't have any gingham. Do I use two-in-one shampoo and conditioner? No, I don't. Have I ever participated in No Shave November? I mean, I guess it doesn't... I was gonna say, I guess it doesn't apply to me. I barely shave, like, my legs and stuff anyways. So, no, I haven't. Do I participate in fantasy football? No. Is my favourite Kelly Clarkson song, Since You've Been Gone? I don't know where the other Kelly Clarkson songs. So, no, I don't even like Since You've Been Gone that much. So, no. Have I ever participated in a gender reveal? No. Do I have a friend named Cheese? No. Have I ever been to a Fish concert? No. Have I ever been to a Grateful Dead concert? No. Have you ever stolen a traffic cone? No. Do I love Queer Eye? I don't sit and watch it much, but I think that a lot of the people from Queer Eye, like the however many of them there are, five, six of them, quite a few of them are really cool. But I don't love Queer Eye, because I don't watch it much. I just, like, kind of know of them. Have I ever taken a picture with a fish? No, I don't go fishing. Doesn't really apply. Do I have a wooden American flag in my living room? No, however, I also don't have any British flag paraphernalia. I'm not that person. Do I want a man cave? Again, not a man. Don't really know if that applies. No. Do I love the show Friends? No, but I used to. When I was about 12, that was the shit. And now I kind of realise it's problematic in parts and just not that funny. There's better. It was kind of the first sitcom I'd ever watched. And I was like, this is genius. And then I've watched way more sitcoms. It's like, oh, there are better ones than this. Like, watch The Good Place. Also, they both have Lisa Kudrow in them. So tying it in. Do I love the movie The Big Lebowski? I mean, hoping I'm saying that right. I've barely heard of it. And so I don't love it. Do I make margaritas with that bottled margarita mix you buy in stores? No, once again I don't drink, never had a margarita, not my thing. And lastly, and most importantly, have I ever used the word hubby? I hate that word so much. It viscerally, genuinely, like I'm joking about whatever, fuck the straights, you know, blah blah blah, it's all jokes. Genuinely that word upsets me, and I do not know why. I guess apart from the fact that straight cis women who say that word are often transphobic and or homophobic and horrible. I think that's why. And I acknowledge that I'm like, I'm not, am I trans is like a, a question for the ages, but I'm cis passing like trans misogyny exempt and white and like pri privileged. So in some ways, in a lot of ways, I have a lot of things in common with those women. However, they upset me. It's the mum's net thing. I just can't do it. So no, that was a very emotional and dramatic way of saying, no, I have never used the word hubby. Show me my results. I think we know. I think we know. I'm definitely gay. I checked more than 10% of quiz takers, so 10% of people are gayer than me according to this. But like, I mean, what does it say? You have a statistically low straight number and therefore can assume you are gay. Thank God for that. Yeah, definitely made by a queer. Obviously there's like, the idea of culturally straight and gay things is very simplistic and cultures vary more than that. However, the really culturally straight things I don't get on with. I'm just too gay and gender fucked for that. Okay, let's do another one. I think I just googled, like, gay quiz for this, and I came up with this one on Quotev. How gay are you? 
What to drink? Water, milk, juice, alcohol, coffee or tea? Not water, because I don't drink nearly enough just plain water. Not milk. I drink juice. I don't drink alcohol. I drink coffee, but not a huge amount at home, and I drink decaf coffee, because caffeine bad for my anxiety. I've decided after watching that travel vlog where I chug a Red Bull, uh, I need to stop drinking caffeine. Like, that was such a horrible experience. So I've cut right back, so I only drink decaf now. Or tea. I also drink decaf tea, but like, who's drinking tea for the caffeine? Probably juice, to be honest. But definitely when I'm at home, I'll always reach for like a, a juice carton. Do I have dyed hair? Yes, I do. I actually have dye on it right now. It's like purple-ish. And I've had it, you saw, in my like buzz cut video. You can see in the buzz cut video, I had like a blue pixie cut before. I had it red before that, I've had it yellow, all different colours. So yes, I do have dyed hair and I chronically dye my hair. I'm guessing this means flannels. Do you own any flannels? I have three. So yes, I do. Own anything rainbow? Honestly, not much. Just because it doesn't match with my aesthetic, like, <sighs> I honestly don't know if I do. So no. Walk fast, yes. Like anime, emo, and or going to a bar. I simply do not know how these things are related. I also simply need to stop saying simply today. I do not know what it is. I used to be a proper emo kid. And then it was like more complicated than that. And I liked certain emo bands, but then I didn't identify with that word. Not anymore though. Like this was a few years ago and I was in my like early to mid teens. So uh, I'm gonna say no. I don't like anime either. I don't not like anime, but I just don't. Like I like Studio Ghibli movies. I don't think that makes me like anime necessarily. I think that the actual anime fans would kill me if I said I liked anime because of that. And I don't go to bars, so no. Own more than two pairs of Vans and or Converse. No, I own one pair of shoes and they're Doc Martens. How do I sit? Do I sit down normally? Barely sit on the chair? Manspread? Sitting in a chair, what's that? I'm in a wheelchair. Sit down, facing forward but cross legs. That's how I am right now. Or turn the chair around when I sit down. The back of the chair is at my chest. One, it is so hot when women do that last one. When they like flip the chair around, that does it for me. I don't know, I just, what do I? I cross my legs when I'm sat. Yeah, I guess I cross my legs when I'm sat in a chair. I put one leg across the other. Just for like comfort, it's probably really bad for my back. I'm probably not great for my legs probably just not great but it's how I sit but yeah I sit down facing forward but I cross my legs am um, I vegetarian or vegan really just any special diets that you don't have to be on and obviously this is all a stereotype yeah I'm veggie can I do maths well no um very humanities leaning don't do maths Ugh, can't do it do I cuff my pants and or tuck in my shirt I don't cuff my trousers um trousers I'm so British but yeah I don't cuff my trousers I tuck in my shirt sometimes like there are certain looks where I think it's better but generally no like I just have the hem out of this so I'm gonna say no as a general rule do I have shortcut nails I pick at them so they're really short so yeah am I religious there needs to be more options I don't follow a specific religion so I'm gonna say no but I'm not an atheist do I have any piercings so I've got my lobes done and then I had my nose done here but it fell out almost as soon as it was done and then it just healed over are these piercings I was pierced, so I guess yes, but like not by the standards of people whose faces are covered in metal. Oh no. Do I listen to tons of Panic at the Disco and or Girl in Red and or BTS and or Cave Town and or Mother Mother? So Panic at the Disco I had a real phase with, but then Brendan Urie is a piece of actual shit, so no. Girl in Red, no, never got into, too like boring for me. Cave Town, no. BTS, no. I like one Mother Mother song. I like Hayloft. <laughs> and like Hayloft 2 is okay, I guess. So no, I don't listen to tons. Like, I don't really love any of those bands. Do I shave a lot? No. Do I move fast in my relationships? Oh no. Yeah, I'm a U-Haul lesbian. We all know it. Am I good at liberal arts subjects? As in English, learning new languages, history, writing, reading, philosophy, etc. Yeah, this is my jam. This is what I want to study. This is sort of what I want to go into. Yeah. Am I sensitive? Yeah. It's more complicated than that with me, but yeah, I'm very aware of what other people think of me and stuff. Okay, how gay am I? 63%! That's not very gay. 12 out of 19. Yeah, this is based off of stereotypes homophobic people make of gays. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised. Can I see which ones I answered, like, quote unquote, incorrectly? No. Huh. I'm curious now, but it says I'm gay, so technically it's right. I mean, that was kind of fun. Since I am talking about queer and LGBT plus related topics, I do just want to boost the Black Trans Advocacy Coalition again. I've talked about them in a previous video in more detail, but they work to improve the lives of Black Trans people. Please check out their website and donate if you can. Okay, I'm gonna do one more, which is make an outfit and we'll feel whether you are gay or not on Dig Fun. I think this one could be fun. Pick a t-shirt. Ooh. I don't know if this one is from like a TV show or something. It's kind of cool. That's Sailor Moon. I'm not, I'm like, I've never watched Sailor Moon or anything, but I know that it is. Can't see what that says, but it's got a snake on it. Well then, Call Me Angel. I like Call Me Angel only because it's mostly black. And I mean, it is cool, like religious imagery. It's kind of cool. Choose a sweatshirt. 
Um, so we've got like a blue one with like a pixelated dragon on it, a red like hoodie, a yellow hoodie that says Argentina State, or one that says Arizona something something. I like the Arizona one again because it's black. I just wear a lot of dark colours. Let's get to the bottoms. Choose one. Like black skinny jeans or like baggier, um, what they call bleach wash jeans with butterflies on. Skinny jeans. Again, they're black. Oh, sissy that walk. Great. Again, like, just a bit stereotypical really. But, um, all of this is stereotypical. I don't know what I'm complaining about. Choose one. Again, I wear docks, but I'm gonna go with these. Again, they are black. I didn't know it was this basic. Choose an accessory. We've got some, like, pink tinted sunglasses. Some of those little, um, are they called butterfly clips? The, like, colour, colourful clips that you can put in your braids. A bracelet with a little blue butterfly on it or a black bag i'm gonna go with the shades only because i do wear glasses choose a jewelry we've got like a necklace with a gold uh, rose on it bunch of rings two little bracelets like a black half black half gold one and a little paper bird or like an upside down dark colored rose which i love that's great i would genuinely wear that i'm not even a huge jewelry person and i would wear that choose some hair so we've got like long half dark brown half light pink we've just got like long blonde long like brightish pink or a black bob of these the black bob i've had the black bob before it's just a classic look. And then choose a nail. We've got little short like yellow ones and then some with like flowers on. We've got yellow and also like holographic silver. We've got red or we've got like flowers and gray. I feel like I'm not describing these very well, but hopefully you'll be able to see. I'm sorry if you can't. Um, For me, I don't like nails. I bite my nails. Well, I pick at my nails. I'll go with the red. It's like a classic look. They're not too long. Right, let's see. I think, I mean, again, it depends on whether, <laughs> it depends on whether it's testing whether I'm a gay man or a gay woman. I'm not not a woman, but like, you know what I mean, a lesbian or a gay man. And also, this is all bullshit, so I'm just interested to see. I am straight as hell. I don't know what to make of that. Well, I think that's a good end to this video. I'm too distressed to continue. Um, I hope you had some fun doing these tests with me. I feel like I've reiterated it plenty of times through this video, but I will just say one more time. This is all crap. Like, this does not define your sexuality. None of these quizzes can tell your sexuality. It's just fun. But yeah, I think I came out as mostly gay in those, so I'm gonna take that as a success. Yeah, apparently my answers to these meaningless random questions do reveal that I'm gay, which is true. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video, comment on it, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel. Uh, you can also support me on Ko-fi, which is ko-fi.com slash aj.com if you for some reason want to pay me to do this. Um, uh, yeah, um, I'm still an itsy bitsy creator, so I really appreciate any support. I will be back next week, probably with another queer video, I think. That's my plan, but I'm not 100% sure yet. But I will see you there. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.